it's done. Like all, we we got the wires hooked up, we got the exhaust hooked up, the transmission's all hooked up. Um, we just won't have it running for the video. Uh, I don't know, do you want That's to say a that? lie. We're, it's going to be running. Just, it's not going to be running. He's going to be running. Finish. We're going to get you guys a clip of it running. Whatever. All right. He didn't watch this whole thing for a not running car. Okay, you did. <laughs> Make sure you hit that thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> Show us we got some haters. <laughs> This is the 1.8 swap Miata uh, that we did the 1.6 to 1.8 swap in. Uh, if you're lucky and you stick around to the end, I haven't decided yet, but we might show you a video of it running. The brake master cylinder is leaking profusely. You can see underneath that it, it's eaten away most of the paint down there. Uh, also, when we were dropping the subframe and taking off the brake calipers, we noticed that they were leaking. Well, at least this one was. It literally puked out fluid as we took it off of the car. And I can only assume this one probably isn't too far behind. So we're doing both front calipers. The rears look fine. We didn't have any signs of problem. We're gonna do the master. First thing we're gonna do is get all the fluid out of there. Or at least as much as we can. Next is going to be the three lines. So we don't have to worry about these ones, just those two, that one there, and then we have two bolts back here, one here, one on the other side. Master cylinder comes off. We're over here to bench bleed this, and uh, I'm just gonna walk over bench bleeding, which is essentially you fill this up, and then I use a screwdriver to act as the pedal, and just push it until I have fluid pouring out of all three holes. We're gonna bench bleed it, that way when it gets back in there, there is less air in the system that we have to deal with, and hopefully life gets easier with uh, bleeding everything. Oh, all right, that's probably good enough. Leave those little caps in there to hopefully not lose too much fluid, but at least now there's not as much air as there was in there. We don't want to dump, but if it happens, it happens. As always, it goes together easier than it comes apart. Since we uh, took these off to do the uh, engine, I just left the bolt out. So that's really it. And you can see down here where it was leaking when we pulled it off, but I'm gonna break loose the brake line. So we got calipers with brackets which is really nice. Although I'm still going to take it apart and make sure that they're greased right here because I never trust rebuilt stuff. And this is why I wanted to take it apart because if there is any grease on there, it ain't enough. So yeah, we'll do both and put it back together with the pads and then put the uh, brake line on. So with the new caliper kit, we got all new little fasteners or whatever, the little 
brackets that go in between the pad and the actual caliper bracket. I'm just greasing up the old pads because they didn't have any on them. Lunchtime. Don't worry, I've seen this episode like 85 times. <laughs> I'm gonna get started with a vacuum bleeder and then we're gonna finish with a, a regular manual bleed just because I like those a lot better, but gotta get fluid in here first. Pump it. Get the hammer on my face! <laughs> Pump it. Well, at least the brakes work. Leathering idiot.